published, 1340 EDT, the 6th of April 2018, updated, 1004 EDT, the 7th of April 2018 Anyone who's been wondering if their private Facebook data might have been swept up in the Cambridge Analytica scandal will soon get their first clues. Starting Monday, all 2.2 billion Facebook users will receive a notice on their feeds, titled Protecting Your Information with a link to see what apps they use and what information they have shared with those apps. If they want, they can shut off apps individually or turn off third-party access to their apps completely. In addition, the 87 million users who might have had their data shared with Cambridge Analytica will get a more detailed message informing them of this. Scroll down for videos starting Monday, all 2.2 billion Facebook users will receive a notice on their feeds titled Protecting Your Information, with a link to see what apps they use and what information they have shared with those apps Facebook says most of the affected users, more than 70 million, are in the US, though there, are over a million each in the Philippines, Indonesia and the UK reeling from its worst privacy crisis in history, allegations that this Trump-affiliated data mining firm may have used ill-gotten user data to try to influence elections, Facebook is in full damage control mode, with CEO Mark Zuckerberg acknowledging he's made a huge mistake in failing to take a broad enough view of what Facebook's responsibility is in the world. He's set to testify before Congress next week. Cambridge Analytica whistleblower Christopher Wiley previously estimated that more than 50 million people were compromised by a personality quiz that collected data from users and their friends. Starting Monday, April 9, Facebook will begin showing users a link at the top of their news feed to more easily reveal the apps they use, as shown above. According to Facebook, most of the affected users were in the United States, as shown in the graph above that Facebook app, called This Is Your Digital Life, was a personality quiz created in 2014 by an academic researcher named Alexander Kogan, who paid about 270,000 people to take it. The app vacuumed up not just the data of the people who took it, but also, thanks to Facebook's loose restrictions, data from their friends, too, including details that they hadn't intended to share publicly. Facebook later limited the data apps can access, but it was too late in this case. Facebook has added a new way to remove third-party apps from your profile in the wake of the Cambridge Analytica scandal. The tool helps users to delete unwanted apps that may be storing their information. To access the feature, go to the Apps section in your Facebook settings. This is found by clicking on the downward facing arrow in the upper right of the main desktop on a computer, or or on mobile by tapping on the three horizontal lines on the navigation bar and scrolling to the bottom. From here, you can view all third party apps with access to information stored on your profile under the Logged in with Facebook section. Tick the box next to any apps you'd rather delete and then select remove apostrophe dot confirm your choice by tapping remove again in the resulting pop-up box. Within this box, Facebook gives you the option to also delete all posts, photos and videos on the platform posted for you by that app. Zuckerberg said Facebook came up with the 87 million figure by calculating the maximum number of friends that users could have had while Kogan's app was collecting data. The company doesn't have logs going back that far, he said, so it can't know exactly how many people may have been affected. Cambridge Analytica said in a statement Wednesday that it had data for only 30 million people.